Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my updated everyday makeup routine. This is what it looks like when I'm not in full glam or I'm not wearing giant eyeliner and eyelashes. Um, so yeah, let's uh let's get into it. Before I start, I'll let you see a close-up. This is what we're going to be doing. Let's get started. Before I start, I know I'm very aware I have a really bad sunburn on my face. It is healing up well though. The only part that really hurts is my forehead. We're just gonna cover this up. So normally I do wear primer, but I have not worn any primer recently. I do have some, but I just haven't felt the need to wear it a lot lately because I just haven't been doing makeup like as much or as drastic as often as I used to. My baby hairs like do not wanna stay down. Just I don't really use primer that much anymore. I really just make sure my face is really moisturized before I start If I'm doing like a full glam kind of look, I'll normally use a primer for today I won't be using any primer. My face is very moisturized, of course And then especially with a sunburn, um, I'm double moisturizing using aloe So I just usually do two layers of this let it all soak in and then I'll do two layers of this Let it soak up each time before you put on the next layer. I've just been using this for like six years This is my primer for today. I'm all moisturized moisturized up, I'm gonna go ahead and start color correcting because I'm very red. I'm just gonna be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Green Color Correcting Concealer. I'm just gonna cover this up. Nose, ooh, a little too much of my nose. And then on the sides of my face. And then I just take my beauty blender and of course just blend that out everywhere. Cover as much red and spread it out as evenly as I can. The green obviously wouldn't be part of my like everyday makeup routine if I was not sunburned. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> Big difference already. And then after that, I just go ahead and start my foundation. I don't really have anything that actually matches my skin tone right now. I'll be blending my foundation and the two foundations I'm gonna be blending together is the MAC Studio Fix and um, the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I don't normally mix these two foundations together. I normally mix these two foundations together, the Sheer Glow Foundation and the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. But as you can see, I'm running quite low on this one. We're just gonna improvise with the MAC Studio Fix and then I just put it everywhere and then I'll blend it out with a brush. And then also I'm gonna put some on my neck just to make sure everything's even. Blend it all together. Something else I've been doing differently is I don't blend out my foundation with a beauty blender as much anymore. I feel like it spreads a lot more evenly with a brush, of course. I feel like everybody feels that way, but like also it doesn't pick up as much product and it's helped me kind of figure out exactly how much foundation I need at once instead of pouring too much out and using way too much foundation, if that makes sense. And then I just like to dab my beauty blender just to pick up some extra foundation. Next up, we conceal, and I definitely do my concealer a lot lighter than I used to as well. I just kind of do one swoop under my eye each, and I don't double dip my brush. I use all the product that came off on the little, the little wand and um, blend it down my nose here underneath and then I go between my eyebrows up onto my forehead and only down to where like my nose bridge like kind of starts and then I don't put anything on my chin either I used to always put highlight on my chin because I thought I needed to but it's literally like it's not necessary so I don't and plus it's just more gunk on your pores you know and then with my concealer I do use a beauty blender instead of a brush because I feel like I can get um, in the little creases and corners way easier with a beauty blender than I can a foundation brush Oh yeah, and the concealer I used is the uh, Tarte Shape Tape. Sunburn, we don't know her. And then I just pull the concealer on my nose down to the tip. So now everything is all blended out. My concealer is a little bit light for me. I'm not really sure if you can tell on camera, but it's okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bake where I concealed using the Airspun Loose Face Setting Powder. So this is the only place I really bake at the moment. Um, nowhere else, I just kind of let it all sit and then I'll set the rest with powder as well. Then I just wipe it off like 30 seconds later. I don't really let it bake for too long. And then I like to take my MAC Studio Fix and go in with a fluffy brush and get everywhere else. This will bring more color to the rest of my face so it doesn't look so flat and it'll let the highlight show a little more. And just. I 
I do even go over where I bake too, just a little bit. Also because this highlight is a little too light for me right now, but can't really tell with this lighting because I can't figure out this lighting on this camera. Wow, we're almost already done. As usual, I like to stop on my face for a second and go to my eyebrows and then I'm still using the same palette for my eyebrows. I love the, the dystopian color and the sultry palette is like the perfect shade for my eyebrows. First, I just brush them out, Let's get all the extra powder out. This brush is my favorite all-time brush ever. It's the Expert Shadow and Liner Brush from Bare Minerals. I love this brush for eyebrows. If you don't have it, go get it. It has a nice packing flat end and then a nice um, tapered end for liner and brows. And obviously I have skinny brows, so I do give a little bit more of like, I do give them a little bit more of a shape, but I don't conceal my brows at all when I do my everyday makeup. And I always start with the tail and then once I get to about a little bit past the arch, I move to the bottom center of my brow and then start filling out the top of it too. Blend it out a little and there we go. One brow is done. Here's my brow drawn on and then here's natural. There we go, brows are done. Now we can move back to face. And then after brows, I like to do contour and the contour I'll be using is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Bronzer. My contour, I pretty much still do the same as I've always done it. I start right in front of my ear, kind of where I have this little indent on my cheekbone. I start here and then blend up and pull it down towards the corner of my mouth. Shark cheekbones before before, after. We have chiseled cheekbones. It looks so much more dramatic on the camera the way this lighting is, I'm sorry. You saw in my last video, I can't figure out how to fix it. And then we just tap, 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 um, and then start blending from where you started all the way up into the forehead and around. I do contour my jawline too, just a little bit. I just kind of pull it from the ear where I started, underneath my ear, on my neck there, and then I pull it around my jaw all the way to my chin. Finally is my nose, and for my nose, I have migrated to a uh, eyeshadow brush, and I just dip that into my contour. Just go really, really lightly along the sides of my nose and up underneath my eyebrow. I like to start kind of here, like at the where the smallest point of my bridge is, and drag it down. And then just pull it up and feather it out. Very light-handed, so it's not like too dark bring it up and i don't really like to blend down with the eyeshadow brush so i get um one of my old brushes i don't know what this brush is called it's from my makeup school but it's like fluffy and it's slanted so i just like to go down this side of my nose and blend that out and after contour of course is blush the blush i normally use is the bh chocolate orange palette but i just have been using this little matte blush from a, like a random drugstore that i got that i lost the lid to this is like my everyday blush i use the morphe m405 and then i only start at the apples of my cheeks and pull it all the way up to about my eyebrow Finally highlight and I, I just use my Becca champagne pop highlight for my everyday highlight This is the morphe m510 Lightly just a little bit of highlight not too much. I use my finger to get the tip of my nose Blend that out and go up pull it up 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 finger again And I go on the smallest part of my bridge Go up 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 and get a little bit on there and I like to go right underneath my brow just barely Finally, we're almost done, is just to do my lips and eyes. Sometimes I like to leave my lips bare, uh, and then sometimes I like to overline them because I feel like it makes the look look a little bit more clean and like done, but we'll do lips last. Next up is my eyes, and I usually will just leave them like this, or I like to take a little bit of the same color I used on my brows, do a very subtle little like wing at the end of my eye. So I go in with my eyebrow brush and just pull it out open connect my my lower lid to the and just kind of 
flick it out. So then I have my little wings kind of. And then finally mascara. The mascara I use is the NARS Climax mascara. I just like to do like two or three layers of this. Just on like my outer lashes though. So right here on the end. And normally I would um, use an eyelash curler to make them kind of stand up more, but my eyelash curler broke. And then a little bit on my um, bottom lashes on the outer corner as well. Just a little. And now for the last thing, I normally would be done at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips. Whenever I do my lips, they're always overlined. I'm using the, the NYX lip pencil in SPL 810 Natural. I think that's the color. Pretty much I just overline my Cupid's bow and then connect it to the corners of my mouth and then I overline my bottom lip. I have my Cupid's bow overlined and then I'll just I'll just show you. For the bottom, I pretty much do the same thing. I only overline like right underneath and then follow my lips and kind of connect it to the corners. There's my lips all lined up. And then I use this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color SMLC19 Cane. And then I let that dry for a second. So let's just wait a second while that like mats up a little bit. And then when that dries up a little bit, I use this NYX Lip Lingerie Shimmer in the color Shy, like me. And I just go right over it. And we're done. That is my everyday makeup routine. So yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe this routine will be good for you. I don't know, give it a try. It's super easy, super simple. I literally can do my makeup in like 20 minutes tops. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And then be sure to turn my post notifications on so you know when I post. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Twitter, all, all of that. Yeah, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.